veganism for me was a spiritual gateway to freeing myself from oppression, from the dense energies of death and suffering that people embody when they consume the bodies of victims. It helps to raise the spiritual vibration of a person when they choose foods that carry life energies, the energies of the God Force. At first, I was ignorant of what animals went through, and I didn't sympathize with the animals until I was shown the truth of what they actually went through. So that just became an additional reason for me to be vegan. And then I later learned that it was healthier, biologically, for humans to consume the fruits and vegetative materials of plants. The next was the environmental reason, when I learned about the ecological harms of animal agriculture on the local and global scale. In recent years, I've been learning about the ethical aspects of animal exploitation and its relation to racial injustice, classism, speciesism, and the colonial propaganda that created this atmosphere of dependency and addiction to these industries in our society. Whew, that was a mouthful. A mouthful of delicious, revolutionary non-violence. And I wasn't a vegan overnight. It took me many years to learn all of this, and I'm still learning. There's still so much to learn, but every time I take a moment to look deeper and gain more insight and knowledge, it all adds up and serves me in my life, allowing me the opportunity to share what I've learned with others to raise the bar of common knowledge of our society for the collective benefit of all. <laughs> So veganism doesn't make you think for yourself, it doesn't make you more intelligent or emotionally mature, nor will it help you save your marriage. That's up to you to do. Veganism is a guide to peaceful living, a life that honors life through action and practice. But that doesn't guarantee that it will protect you from being selfish, aggressive, ignorant, and narrow-minded. It takes a compassionate, emotionally intelligent, and mindful individual to look at their life and question their actions and impacts that they have on the world that we all share. And I think that the world would be a more peaceful place if we all embodied those attributes. Look inwards and ask yourself if you are a reflection of your highest values. Can you identify the difference between a victim and the oppressor? Who is the victim in animal exploitation and who is the oppressor? Are you prepared to decolonize yourself, unplug from the matrix, shed those dense energies which no longer define the divine being that you always have been? Veganism, when used correctly, purifies the mind, body, and spirit. Meditate on these ideas. By purifying ourselves, we also transform the dense energies of our collective planetary burdens to a positive force for the benefit of all life on Earth. Vegan life. Live long and prosper.